Okay, now it's recording. Sheena's seen bums before, right, Sheena? <laughs> <laughs> you better not put that in the bloopers. <laughs> Holy shit, you're fired. Are you curious how cruelty-free and natural makeup actually performs and how we take makeup trends and turn them into everyday wear makeup looks? Stick with us to the end of this video and we'll show you how we create these fall and winter inspired makeup looks using natural products. We get it, many runway looks are far from wearable, but you still wanna play around with some different makeup looks and have fun with your products. By the end of this video, you'll feel confident in choosing beautiful colors for the fall and winter seasons. We work with women all the time who have no idea how to do their makeup. And in this video, we're going to offer you tips and tricks that will make doing makeup a whole lot easier. This is Amanda's makeup look and on Amanda today we are using all Sapphire Organics products. The first thing I did was I used the foundation brush to put on the oily skin primer, mostly focusing in the T-zone or the areas that are oilier. And then I used the Essentials Foundation in Jennifer and I'm just buffing this all over Amanda's skin making sure to get the eyelids, under the eyes, and around the nose, and then used a beauty blender to make sure it looks all blended and flawless. The next thing I'm doing is using the Black Brown Brow Balm, and I'm filling Amanda's eyebrows in, and then brushing them up with a spoolie to make them look a little bit more natural. And we did go a little bit darker than Amanda likes to normally go with her eyebrows for this winter look, just to match nicely with her hair. The blush that I'm using on Amanda today is called Natalie and it's from the Sappho Peach collection and I just got Amanda to smile and I brushed it up her cheekbones and a little bit onto the apples of the cheeks as well. And using the same fluffy brush I took the Monica eyeshadow right across the lid and right under the brow as well to give a bit of a highlight. The corner of the eye will help brighten the eye and make you look a little bit more awake. I'm now using the color called Jessica right across the lid and this does have a little bit of shimmer in it. And then I'm also using the color Victoria right across the lid to add a little bit of warmth to the eye. If you want your lashes to appear much longer, we always suggest using an eyelash curler to curl your lashes. And then adding a mascara over top of the lashes. And this is the Sapphire Organics Mascara. It's not completely waterproof, but it is smudge resistant. It holds up really, really well for those who have watery eyes or eyes that tend to transfer mascara. Our final step is the lip. And what we decided to do was mix the two glosses, Amy and Christine together. And this is the final look. For Jacqueline's look, we used all Elate products, and the first product that we used is the A Crew Full Tint Foundation, and this is going to give a bit of a heavier coverage, so for those of you who would like more coverage and a bit more of an even skin tone, this is definitely the foundation for you. And we used the Elate Multi-Use Brush to blend it all in together nicely. We then set with the Elate Loose Glowing Powder, and this is just to set the foundation and lock it all in. The next step is super fun. We played with a little bit of color and this is the Freedom Liquid Liner from Elate and we're using an angle brush to apply this just to get it really nice and close to the lash line and you want to wait for this product to dry so you do want to keep your eyes closed for about a minute just so it can dry. And what we're doing here is we're using the Smoke Brow Balm with an angle brush to just fill in the brows to tie the entire look together. And when you're choosing a brow product, we always encourage people to try and choose a color that is closest to their hair color that's at the root. Or if you want to go slightly darker, that's totally fine. You can go slightly darker, but matching it to your root color is the best way to go. And what you're seeing here is Amanda's makeup artist trick. When she's doing mascara on someone, she likes to hold up a business card so that the mascara doesn't hit the top of the lid. And if you tend to muck up your mascara often, this might be a fun technique for you to try. The next thing Amanda is doing is just really lightly brightening under the eye with the buff concealer from Elate and just making sure it's all blended out and super close to the lash line to make the eyes appear a little bit brighter. 
Amanda used the Dew Pressed Highlighting Powder right in the corner of the eyes and under the brow bone just to give it that really nice highlighted pop. And now Amanda is putting some vivacious lipstick onto my lips. The final step to this makeup look is for those who want to go a little bit more bold. We decided to take the Freedom Liner right across the bottom just to make it look a little bit more bold, a little bit more colorful. You definitely don't have to do this step, but if you want to try something fun and different, try putting the colored liner on the bottom lash line to tie it all together. If you'd like to try a really soft contour, we use the Luminous Loose Powder to do this. It gives the skin a little bit of warmth and really lightly contours the face. We would love to know if you'd like to learn more about natural makeup looks creating natural makeup looks. Make sure to comment below and let us know what type of natural makeup looks you'd like to see. Do you want to switch your collection to all cruelty-free or sustainable products? Check out our video called Sustainable Beauty Capsule Kit, which you can find right here, to learn how to create your own beauty capsule. Here are the final results for our cruelty-free winter makeup looks. If you love these looks and you want to take a closer look at the products used, every product is listed in the description bar below. Want to save 10% on your first green beauty order? By subscribing to our newsletter, you will also save 10% off of your first online order. Keep up with the Green Beauty Collective and receive exclusive sale information and offers. Follow the newsletter link in the description bar below. We're excited to have you a part of our community. Do you want to learn more and engage with people just like you? We have an amazing online community called the Green Beauty Community. This is your opportunity to be a part of a group that discusses natural products, techniques, and for you to ask any burning questions you may have or advice that you may need. You can find the link to the page in the description bar below. If you enjoyed this video, please let us know by liking it, commenting below with helpful if you found it helpful, and sharing it with your friends, family, and fellow natural beauty lovers. And as usual, we will see you next Tuesday.